Welcome to my review, Master Chief. It is where you will be broken. Today I'm going to be reviewing the the Spartan June and Noble Six, both from Halo Reach. And uh, yeah, Halo Reach is actually one of my favorite uh, Halo games I have ever played. And uh, th these figures were obviously a must-buy. Without further ado, let's just get right on into the review by starting with the packaging. And now taking a look at both of their packaging. Right up front here, it says Halo Spartan Collection as their name's up there. Big window showcasing the figures within. Here on the side of the packaging, it's got an image of them right up there. And then here on the back of the packaging, it's got some advertisements for other figures in the waves uh, that they've come out in. And, yeah, pretty interesting figures here. Nothing much else to really talk about with their packaging. Both of these Spartan figures both come with a very healthy amount of accessories. First, we'll start with Noble Six. Noble Six just comes with the same assault rifle accessory that we saw come with the Master Chief figures. So, this is nothing really new to talk about, but it is included with Noble Six. And again, molding and sculpting on this thing is... Really nice, and I appreciate the work that they put in to make this as accurate to the game as possible. And then it, uh, he also comes with this pistol here. And I'm glad that they kept making all of these figures in, and all of everything exactly to the games. Unlike some Halo content. And uh, so yeah, that's just it for the pistol. And then finally, he also comes, Noble Six comes with a knife here, which is very nicely done. And it's just... Cast in black plastic, nothing too unique about this. And then he does come with some hands. Noble Six comes with a pair of relaxed hands, a pair of grabby hands, a pair of fists, and then one of these double-fingered trigger finger slash pointing hands. As for weapon storage, Noble Six just has this little sheath to put his knife in. And he's also got the... Oh, it's... It's just gone. Here it is. It's, it's this little panel that you have right here, but you take it out and you flip it over, just like on those Master Chief figures I previously re reviewed. And then it reveals this little peg right here, which allows you to take his sidearm and you can just plug it in on his hip right there. But as you guys just saw, the connection on this one is too loose. <laughs> there is also one here on Noble Six's back. If you remove that teeny, teeny little accessory and you flip it, Around it allows you to attach his assault rifle on his back and now taking a look at June's accessories June here is actually one of the few figures from hate from the halo line that actually comes with an unhelmeted head mostly because this is one of the few Spartans who actually has their helmet removed during the game so we know what they look like he's got that tattoo nicely printed right there on the head and again his eyes look a little bit wonky but I mean it could have looked way worse but overall, not a bad head sculpt. He also comes with this sniper right here. I can't remember the exact name. You are welcome to leave it down in the comments. That totally was not a bait to get some engagement on the video. But overall, I like the sniper. It looks very good. And I like that we're actually getting an, a gun accessory that's not the assault rifle this time around. So it's nice to get some, some, some weapons that are a little bit different. There's the sniper rifle. He also comes with the blaster pistol, just like Noble Six. It's exactly the same as Noble Six's. And then he also comes with a knife, which is also the exact same as Noble Six's, only it's got that tiny bit more of dry brushing on the handle. But overall, very nice. Gets the job done. And then, and then June also comes with a, a lot of hands. June comes with a pair of grabby hands, a pair of fists, trigger fingers slash pointing fingers. And then again, just like Noble Six, he has another one of those double fingered uh, pointing trigger fingers. As for weapon storage on June, he also features one of these knife holsters. He also has another one of those removable panels with a peg to put his sidearm, though the one right here is a lot better of a connection than the one that is on Noble Six. And then, uh, and then he doesn't have one where you can store the rifle, sadly, or the sniper rifle, so you're just going to have to have him hold it, and he's constantly going to have to have it out. I hope that throughout this review, it doesn't feel like I'm reaching for complaints. Taking a closer look at Noble Six here, this is the character that you play as in the Halo Reach game, and I overall think he's a great looking Spartan, I love the greys and everything, he does look a little bit plain in some areas, but overall, I still think it's a 
really good figure, especially because gray is a is not green, and green's what we see the most commonly among Spartans. So it's nice to see some nice gray. I, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of how the visor is not as chrome and shiny as some of the others, but it still looks shiny enough that I definitely like the way how it comes across when it catches some of the light. Here's the knife right there, like mentioned before. And even though he is gray, he does have subtle highlights of blue all throughout his design, which does give him some nice color separation. And overall, all the mechanical detailing and everything on the armor is clean and precise. And the dry brushing all over the figure also looks really good as well. But here is a defect that I found out with my figure. We'll get into the, into the posability in just a second, but I just realized that my Noble Six here has one of his elbows backwards. As you can see, one of them here is a double bending elbow. This one should be a double bending elbow. No, it only bends a little under 90 degrees. It's because his elbow bends backwards. I know I made the joke before at the beginning of the video talking about reaching for complaints, but this isn't, and that was just a joke, but this isn't reaching for complaints. This is an actual complaint. Why does this figure have his elbow backwards? Anyway, going down the rest of the body again, all the dry brushing and everything on the sky is all clean and precise. There's that panel there. And as you can see, of course, the other one is gone. And then here on the back, very nice. Nice dry brushing. And overall, the boots and the feet look very good. I like the molding detail on the bottom. Going over the articulation on Noble 6, the head can't really look up all that far. He can't really look down. It's mostly just for side to side poses. It's just a really tight joint there in his head. And then his shoulders can rotate a full 360. They can move outward pretty far. They can move down. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. On this side, at least. All of his wrists can rotate and hinge up and down. He does have a limited diaphragm joint, which allows for... But it doesn't really ab crunch or arching back. Can't really waist swivel, but it does have a little bit of some pivot. Hips can move forward. They can move back. They can... Thigh swivel, double jointed knees, which still look a little wonky, but then he's also got ankles that move up down, ankle pivot, and some nice tight toe bend. So pretty good articulation for the most part. And as we start taking a look at June, I did just want to show off really fast how June looked with that unhelmeted head sculpt on him. This does open up the opportunity for him to have some uh, poses where you can have him with the helmet under his arm like that. So that can lead to some other posing options as well. Yeah, here's now taking a look at June with his helmet on. Again, I love the striking chrome there for the visor. I love what they use here. And again, even though I mentioned I liked the gray on Noble Six because it was something different, I really like the green on this guy. Something about June having the green, but he also has these highlights of gray and blue that really balance out the entire figure's color scheme really is making me feel like this guy is a big improvement and so far one of my favorite figures from the Halo stuff so far. I actually really love how June turned out. And something also different is this guy's got this little hoodie thing right here on the back with some nice like camoing kind of textured detail. The only problem is this isn't really that pliable a material so you can't really use it so it does limit some of his posability. But going down the rest of the body here, there's the knife right there on his arm. I love the blue stripe. Again, very nice color separation. And again, the dry brushing on the molding, molding and sculpting really is a great way to pick out a lot of the extra mechanical detailing. He's got some nice pouches right there. He's also got a pouch right there on his back. And overall, the actual figure is painted up really well and is sculpted amazingly. I love the way how June came out overall. Going over his articulation, the head can't really look up. It can look down a little bit. Again, because of this big old thing, this big old hunchback looking thing right here, kind of limits his head articulation, but he can look from side to side, just as Noble Six. Shoulders can rotate a full 360. They can move up pretty far. He does have a bicep swivel. Double jointed proper elbows on both of them. Both of his wrists can hinge up and down and swivel. He does have a... Not that much of an abdomen joint because because of this backpack, it is so limited by anything you can do. The hips can move forward. They can move back. They can move outward that far. He does get a thigh swivel. Double jointed knees, which still look a little wonky, but it's all right. Ankles can move down. They can move up. Ankle pivot and toe bend, just like Noble Six. 
So that is really it for the articulation on June. And for comparisons, here is the June and Noble 6 compared to the last pair of Spartan figures I reviewed from this series. Here they are with the um, Master Chief 2-pack from uh, GameStop Exclusive. And then here, here's the two Spartans compared to some other Space Marine video game related characters I have also reviewed on the channel. So anyway, that is it for the comparisons. And that is basically it for my review on the Master Ch on the Spartan Collection um, uh, Halo Reach June and Noble 6. I appreciate a lot of the you know work that was put into the figures, but what I don't appreciate is when some figures don't have the proper elbow joints. Overall, I still think they are worth the price. I still think both of the figures are good to add to any Spartan collection, especially if you're trying to collect all of Noble Team from Halo Reach. But June is the figure I prefer out of the two because I just overall love the green, the coloring, all of his molded detail, the chrome visor, just everything about June is pitch perfect. So yeah, if I had to give these figures individual ratings for Noble 6, I give him a solid... 6 out of 10, maybe a closer to a 7, but I thought it was appropriate for Noble 6 to have a 6. And then for June, I give him a solid 8 out of 10. I just, again, I just like him that little bit more because of just how much colors he has and just everything about him I feel I feel is a little bit better. He could have just used a, a waist swivel. So that's basically it for this review. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give me a like on the video. Comment down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, be sure to let me know down in the comments if you want to see some more Halo-related reviews. And I'll definitely catch you guys next time.